Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been what? Like a whole month. It's like a month where I felt empty. And I'm not like, I'm not being dramatic or anything, but I really, really felt empty. So I'm back to my channel. You know, it's been a long month where work was everything. Like work took my month, took my month away and October just went like this. But I'm back now. And I'm back with a year on day video. So my name is Ifa Labi. Please hit the subscribe button. Oh, don't don't hit the subscribe button now. Finish watching the rest of my video and then hit the subscribe button. But then I'm back, honeys, babies. I'm back. And the first video, or the series I'm going to talk about now, is Law and Order: True Crime, the Menendez Murders. So this show, right? I saw this show alongside a huge lineup of shows, like for the summers. And at first when I was, I thought, hmm. Would I, would I not like the show but then I found out that it might be an anthology kind of show so it will change from season to the next season so I was like I will give this a try and actually watch it and it's a good show like it's based on the murders of the Menendez family so two brothers so Lau and Eric Menendez they murdered their parents Jose and Kitty Menendez which first of all their reason for murdering the parents is very badass but you know the premise of the show sounded interesting so I thought mm, okay let me just try out and see what the show is about and if I'd watch it. So and I, so right now there are six episodes into the show and so far so good. If you watch it, you actually like it. Like if I introduce one of those people that like watch things about murderers and how to make a murderer and why do people murder someone or why did this person do this? This is the show for you. But if you're not checking for all that kind of things, like you just want to see what's going on, maybe like don't do the series. So my initial thought on watching the show was that it's Dight, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Like, if you've seen The People vs. O.J. Simpson, you would know what I'm talking about. The show is very like that, but it still lacks. Like, if you're watching Law and Order True Crime, The Menendez Murders, you would find a sense of a lot of things that were in play in The People vs. O.J. Simpson in play now. But it feels off. I don't know how to explain to you, like, how off it feels. Like... There's no true connection to the murders or there's no true connection to the people that are on trial, which is Lau and Eric Menendez, right? So, yes, it, you see, if you watch the people versus O.J. Simpson, the excitement or the connection or the, all the things you build with the prosecution, with the defenders, with you don't feel the same thing with the Menendez murder. So I think that's the only, so the initial thing I thought, like, died the people versus O.J. Simpson. So, yeah, that's it. And... One of the things I hate about the show is the fact that you don't find any real connection to the show. Like, I don't feel connected to the protagonists that are going to, that's supposed to be the people on trial for the murder because their reason for murdering their parents is that over the course of their lives, they've been sexually abused and you know, molested by both parents. So you're not supposed to feel this sense of connection, this sense of, ooh, how could your parents do that to you? But at the end of the day, you still feel... Is that it? Like, I don't know. I get the sense that there's, there can be more. Because at this point, it's, it's just like you're watching TV. Like, it's like you're watching cut TV. And, like, with extra backstory, that's not really interesting. But it could have been way more interesting. Because, right now, I'm not getting a backstory to any of them. Because there was this episode, there was part Leslie Abramson. So they tried to bring out this little backstory of her. Not a backstory, but this little side story of she trying to, like, adoption and everything. And... You, you're still not connected to her so that's the thing about the show for me like you don't feel connected to any of the characters because you know for me I like supporting the anti-heroes or the people that nobody's rooting for so I thought like for sure this show I was going to root for the Menendez murders and you know that's it but I still didn't root for like I still didn't feel connected to them so I don't know if it's my fault or I'm just in a very funky mood but because after six episodes <laughs> Okay, another thing I don't like about the show is that it's fast paced. Think about it, this child takes over the course of four years, so from, so from 1989 to 1993 or later. But okay, so far they are 1993. But you don't feel the sense of like, I don't know, that time you just see May 19th, 92, something, something, 93. You're like, wait, what, what happened during all those times? Like, it kind of feels like there's lost chunks of time. Like you were watching the show in a time warp, so you, you you don't have that sense that like you should see what what like what you are watching. So it's just very weird. 
And I did my own research about the murders before I started watching the show, right? And it, this murders were supposed to be like the murders that shocked America, the murders that shocked people. But you don't get the sense of like people were protesting it. You don't get the sense of like other people who were around there, how they felt about the trial, nothing. So out of 10, I'll give it a five no out of ten i'll get a seven no not a five i'll get a seven and out of five i'll give it a three yeah because it's a good show to watch i don't like yeah or nay yay but you know have your own reservations about it. like don't go expect oh my god this is going to be like a huge show for me no go and like okay i'm going to watch the show i'm going to see what this is about maybe i'll pick something from it. maybe i won't pick anything from it so yeah that's it and i'm done with my year or nay review for Law and Order, True Crime, the Menendez Murders. Anyway, so you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and for like waiting a whole month before I could put out another video. And for all those that have been calling me, texting me, asking me why I haven't been putting out videos, it's not my fault. It's really not my fault. I have had so much complications in the month of October and I things to figure out and then come back with a full month. But, you know, I'm going to come up with the videos as promise right so my name is info Labibi. subscribe to my channel right check out my other videos that are going to be here like honestly why are you going to check out my videos yeah i'm going to be here and i'm going to see you the next time